Since then, his struggle has never stopped. What's going on guys, it's Ira here, and today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to be going over how to level up your operators and weapons in Call of Duty Vanguard so that you're ready for Season 1 of the new Mount Kildera on December 2nd. I mean, of course you're going to be rocking the best Vanguard loadouts, of course they're going to be OP because this is the latest and greatest game, so you already know things like the STG and MP4 are going to be absolute god tier. And of course, while you're slaying out in Warzone on the new map, you're going to want good doing it. So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, in my opinion the best way to level up your operators and your weapons in a call of duty vanguard but first thing first before we get into it guys please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it and please leave any feedback down below uh, any sort of criticism just to hear what you guys have to say and just you know tell me about the overall quality of the video or anything that you'd like to see change all right but to kick it off here we're going to go over the operators so and like all of the other Call of Duties, you're going to have to go ahead and unlock your operators, whether that be via leveling up or via challenge. This year, it's going to be via challenge. So a lot of these operators, you can see already have a few unlocked. You can unlock a lot of them passively just by playing games, and you're just going to unlock them by using uh, certain weapons or doing certain actions in the game. So for example, let's go and take a look here at Daniel and the Hellhounds. You just need to get 200 kills with your marksman rifles. So. That's pretty simple, pretty straightforward with that one. Uh, you know, a lot of these operators have different challenges. Like here, you got to get 50 prone kills, which might be a little more challenging if you're not always prone. You also can't drop shot in this Call of Duty, so that might be a little difficult. I haven't really attempted that one yet. But there are some operators that also have a few more difficult challenges. Like here, if we look at Shinag Shinanori, excuse me, we can see you need to perform 25 finishing moves to unlock him. And if you're like me and you don't want to tank your KD going strictly for finishing moves, there is a way around this. You can actually get operators unlocked playing zombies, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So, obviously, once you've gone through and you looked at your challenges, you say, okay, I want to unlock, you know, these operators in this order, however you want to do it. And, you know, check their challenges, you unlock them, right? Great. But now, how do I level up the operator and how do I get, you know, their other skins? So... To get the other skins on the operator, you're going to have to level up that operator. So, you know, you can see here, uh, these first two are just unlocking your operator up to max level of 20. Uh, the next one here is reaching max level with all the operators in that unit. So if you go ahead and take a look here, you have Hellhounds, Shadow, Barbarian, and Sentinel. And, you know, that's going to take a bit of grinding, but to expedite that process, I'm going to give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to do it. First things first, uh, if you have any double XP tokens, which I don't have any XP tokens at the moment, I only have double weapon XP, which those will come in handy later. But if you have any XP tokens, I highly suggest you use them if you know you're going to be playing for the night, maybe on a Friday or a Saturday, and you know just go all out and you know try to get as much XP as you can in those matches. Um, Another tip here is if you're going to be playing and you're going to pop that XP token, they just released DOS House so as a, as a game mode. So it's only going to be DOS House, which at this moment in time, it's almost like the shipment of Vanguard. So it's a you know very small map, very close quarters. You're going to be getting a lot of kills in this game mode. And so I think the best thing to do is to probably pop an XP token, play DOS House, you know, try to get as much XP as you can. Something else here just to pay attention to is when you unlock the operator, that operator comes with a set of operator challenges you can see here on the right hand side. We'll go ahead and click into these and a lot of these are pretty simple like getting 10 wins or getting 30 bullet pen kills. You know, all of these things give you XP so make sure you're keeping an eye out for these. You know, you're going to get 2500 XP for three of them here and then 1000 XP for one of them. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind and you know, always keeping an eye out for these challenges can be really helpful to make sure like oh like maybe I should go and cap that objective just so my team can get the win here in this situation so I can get you know that win towards my operator XP bonus it's really important just just keep an eye out for it and another thing here is that 
each operator has their favorite weapon as you can see here uh for wade his is the type 100 and you see these little xp token uh icons here if you're using your operator so let's say we're using wade and we're using the type 100 we will get double xp for wade the operator and for the type 100 and so there's only 12 operators here right so that only means there's going to be 12 weapons which this is viable and actually useful so uh you know assortment of them the m1 gram the type 100 mp40 that one's probably pretty good to do uh the you know three line rifle if you're into quick scoping so that's another thing just to keep in mind that you need to make sure you're using your operator's favorite weapon if you want to expedite the process of leveling up your operator the absolute fastest so you know like i said before let's say we're playing solange i'm using the nz41 i'm getting double xp on my operator and on that weapon so just make sure before you hop into a game you check out their favorite weapon and now I've kind of given you guys just an overall view of how to level up your operator, right? But let's say you want to unlock a certain operator, but you find the challenge maybe a little too difficult. So for example, we have Shiganori. His challenge is to get 25 finishing moves, right? That's just a little too much. Like I said earlier, I don't want to do this and tank my KD. As you can see, I only have five out of 25. However, I still have him unlocked. So let's say, you don't want to do 25 finishing moves you know have a habit of hurting your kd right we can go ahead and hop over into zombies all right guys now we've loaded up zombies and if you go into zombies you can see there's also an operator tab here if you go ahead and check the challenges these are all different these are all zombies related so a lot of these are a little more simple than doing the challenges in multiplayer like this one for example Shiganori's was to earn 100 slaughter medals, which is just five rapid kills. And I found the easy way to do this, for example, is to go into harvest and enemies spawn five at a time. You sit there, run around in a circle, and you wait for them to group up or train, and you kill them, all five of them, really quick. And this was a lot more simple, and I think it took a lot less time than you know doing 25 finishing moves and you know hurting my stats on multiplayer. So if you know you see an operator on multiplayer that you're like, oh man, that's just a little too difficult for me, it's like you know, like getting prone kills, you can just go into zombies and eliminate Sturm Kriegers or whatever those are. I really don't play zombies, sorry. But you know, some of these are just you know a lot more simple if you do them in zombies, and there's a lot less stress on the line, right? Because you don't have to worry about taking your stats, or you know, maybe you're not very proficient with a certain weapon, and playing zombies just takes a lot of the stress and a lot of the anxiety out of using those weapons or doing those challenges on multiplayer hopping back over into multiplayer here i'm going to show you guys how to level up your weapons the fastest i already kind of talked about the next two things um which is you know obviously pop in those double xp tokens those are going to be really useful you know if you're feeling good you're on a hot streak or you've just got a lot of time on your hands you know you're going to be playing the game i highly suggest that you pop a double xp token on top of that again playing dos house that's going to get you you know as many kills as possible you know increasing your xp cap for your weapons which is really good and if you know maybe you're not a fan of dos house at least play you know quick play or something with the blitz activated so there's at least you know more enemies to kill and that's still going to increase your xp cap for that match and again i already mentioned it you know make sure you look out for you know your operator's favorite weapon let's say you know i'm using shiganori and i should be using the type 11 when i'm using them so i can get the most xp on the type 11 as possible now taking a look here at your classes you know we have a pretty insane camel grind this year it is actually really cool you know you're going to be getting you know gold you know a staple of call of duty diamond and atomic but to do that you need to do you know a whole set of camo challenges now these camo challenges are going to give you weapon xp so you know make sure while you're using this weapon you look out for those camo challenges some of them are as simple as you know getting a ton of eliminations or perhaps you know getting an assortment of headshots so I think, you know, if you're looking out for those uh, weapon camo challenges and you're going to be getting a lot more XP and you're going to be grinding towards, you know, unlocking gold, diamond, and atomic, you know, on top of that, it's just kind of like a double bonus, right? You can get, you know, the mastery camos and you can level up your weapon even faster. So that's just something to look out for. I think it's really useful. 
Uh, I don't think many people know that these actually give you a decent amount of weapon XP on top of giving you extra XP to level up towards, you know, level 55 and getting that first prestige. You know, I think those are probably the most important tips here. Um, you know, and doing the weapon challenges, great. Doing the uh, operator with their favorite weapon, great. And, you know, playing those smaller maps you're going to be able to get a lot more kills with, you know, while popping an XP token or, you know, playing Blitz. I think those are probably the best ways to level up your weapons. Guys, if you have any more questions, feedback, or anything, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you have anything that, you know, add to getting more XPs, please leave it in the comments for anyone else who wants to check it out. But, you know, guys, that's it for me. I really hope this was useful. I really hope you guys, you know, use some of these tips. I think, you know, they really helped me out in terms of leveling up my operator, you know, my overall rank and my weapons. I think Call of Duty kind of did a good job here, you know, where you can, you know, doing certain things in tandem is going to allow you, you know, expedite the, the process of getting max rank on everything for that December 2nd release of Warzone. Uh, Caldera. I think that's, you know, going to be really exciting. I think, you know, going in with a fresh set of weapons that are max leveled up, I highly suggest you level up the STG and MP40. Those are actually absolutely cracked in multiplayer right now. There's not a game you're going to play where someone isn't using those and absolutely frying. But without further ado, guys, I really hope this was useful and I hope you guys use these tips. You know, please be sure to, you know, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.